Hi, everybody. How's your evening going? This is Joni, Granny J. Clay. And I'm just getting back to you like I said I would after I showed you what I made this afternoon. Now I'm, or, well, it's afternoon for me. Now it's evening. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, show you how to make, uh, let's see, let me bring it out. These. And how I use my crackle paint. Um, I'm not going to use the very same print, but I will show you what I'm using. So I, I uh, for time's sake, I just rolled out two pieces. They're not even. They don't have to be even. Uh, but I'm going to use either this round one or this kind of square with the rounded corners. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. So they will fit on that. And what I want to do is take one of them uh, and make it my back. So this is going to be my back. And I took a piece of... We actually had some rubber that we put behind a rug or down under a rug and we had this left over. And so I'm just going to go ahead. You'll see some bubbles here, but that's okay. It's not that bad. This is Sculpey 3. It's so soft, you guys. Oh my, it's really soft um, to use. And this is it, Sculpey 3. I used quite a bit of that white. Anyway, I'm gonna run it through my pasta machine on a one and then I'll bring it out and show you what the back this is going to be I'm sorry this is going to be the back and I think that turns out really nicely so we'll do that and just lay that over here now I have to make my imprint and um, I think I'm going to use this this one just a partial part of it um, because it's such a pretty it's a it's nice and deep uh, that's one thing you're going to want is um, a stamp that is fairly deep to leave the impression. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute here. Let me just uh, bring a piece of paper over. This new piece of um, tile that I have is um, a matte tile. And so it really kind of wants to hold on to your clay a little bit more. All right, let me just see what I want to do here. I'll put the imprint like right about there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just press. Press it in. And you may get some lines from the edges of your stamp that you don't particularly care for. But, you know, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's not going to make that much of a difference when you make your piece. So we'll see what this looks like. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. And it didn't. I didn't press hard enough, did I? Um, let me see. Oh, and you know what? I'm just looking at this stamp, too. Um, I don't know if you notice this or not, can see it or not, but there, these holes on these smaller inside areas are smaller than those. So I'm going to turn the stamp around. Let me run this through the pasta machine quick. And voila. All new. Now I'm going to turn the stamp around and use the part that has the deeper holes for the smaller areas. Um, uh, who knows if I'm going to get that into it or not. When I cut it, I don't know, but I don't want something just plain Jane, so. Maybe I should say plain Joan, and I won't get in trouble with anybody. <laughs> right, Jane? Hey. Okay. Now this should work. I'm hoping this will work better. Let's see how we, we did this time. Oh, much better. But you see what I mean? Um, you will get some of these edges. And sometimes I just take my finger and I smooth it out. Sometimes I, I just leave it. it. It's really not that big a deal. Now I'm going to bring in my backing. Of course, put the pretty side down. And I'm going to put this um, probably just right there because I want a nice back on all my pieces. And then I'm going to kind of come in and decide what I want to do here. Um, I think I'm going to use this. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of my, my stretch tight plastic food wrap from Costco. And I'm going to put it over it. Okay. Make sure it's nice and tight so I get a good beveled edge. 
And then I'm going to decide what I want out of this. Do I want do I want it to go that way? Do I want it to go this way? I guess I I think I want it this way. I think that's pretty. Yeah, maybe we'll even be able to leave that out of there. You know what? As long as I've got this wrap on there, I can just smooth it a little bit. Look at that. That's not too bad. Just a little bit. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to push it. Now I'm going to get my um, acrylic block and push it again. So I get an even push on it. There we go. Okay. Take this off. Pull this off. And, oh, actually that piece of plastic came right off of it. That's good. Oh, isn't that pretty? That is pretty. Pretty, pretty. Let me put this with my other clay here. Get that out of the way. Okay. Um, at this point, what I want is to put it back on here. Um, I'm going to get my Distress Crackle Paint in here. Sometimes when you take the lid off after you have used um, the paint, uh, there's crumbles. So, you know, because it dries, it dries within uh, the rim. And when it dries, it, it crumbles and crackles kind of. So, And you're supposed to shake it, so I'm going to shake it. Probably give it another shake in a minute here. Um, I'm going to get this up off my uh, tile. Okay. And then, as you can see, it left quite a bit there. But it's it's um, it's good, though. And I always try to smooth it a little bit with my finger. You can always sand later, but I try to smooth it a little bit. This this soft, soft of clay, this clay that's this soft, is uh, it's kind of fragile. <laughs> and then I go around the edges, some, and you, you really hit it with a light touch. And you can smooth most everything off. Um, sometimes not and then that's when you when you're all done with it then you you sand it a little bit to get the edges off with just a nice big fingernail file or, or a piece of sandpaper I've got both I use both okay all right I just smoothed the edges I don't even know if I was in screen if I wasn't forgive me I'm sorry Okay, it's been a long day. I've been working all day on trying to come up with something here. Now, I told you, I'll just leave that there for the moment. I told you that I was going to try, um, that's pretty, um, that I was going to try to make um, one of these where I put the distress paint after, on after I baked it. So I did that. Let me just show this to you. And I used blue and white. And to be honest with you, um, it's okay, it, but it's not my favorite. This, uh, I, I imprinted it, I baked it, brought it back out, put the crackle paint on, let it dry, and then I put the white paint on it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, really. Um, but you can see where I put the crackle paint here and around here, a little bit around the flowers, uh, the flower. But I didn't paint anything in on the flower on that one. So it's not bad. Um, but I think I prefer it on before I bake it. So I'll just show you what I do. It's not any big secret or any big um, secret technique, <laughs> but let me just do it. Now watch, you might see some crumbling here come off, but maybe not. I just wiped the rim. Okay, maybe not. But you can see how it's runny, kind of soupy and thick, and it needs to be stirred. All right, so now I'll get my paintbrush, and let's see, where is it? Is it this one? I think it was this one. Yeah. Okay. And what I want to do is just kind of make it more malleable. Sometimes, the, even though I wipe the paintbrush off, it, it likes to get a little hard. You know what I mean? A little bit stiff. 
Okay, I'm finding that the thinner the coat, the better. And all you do is you just take it, dip it in, and you put it on. So I put quite a bit on there, so I'm gonna spread it out. Uh, and I, I realize that you probably can't see it. It's a, it goes on clear. Um, sometimes you can see some ridges, but I'm trying to get the white space here. And then I'm gonna get the sides of it as well. And I think I didn't have enough over here, so I'll put this on over here too. And this is all you do. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the flowers, petals, not a lot. I don't want a lot of cracking, crackling or cracking, yeah. I guess that's good too, cracking, um, on the flower itself, but I do want some. Okay, and so I just dip in a little bit, and then I'm gonna paint a little bit here, maybe a little bit there, maybe a little bit there, and maybe over here, and maybe there. Okay, now, I look at it from the side to make sure that I have gotten everything I wanted to get painted. Now what you do is you just set this aside and you let this, I don't want it real thick in places, so I'm kind of wiping it off here. You let it dry. Once it's dry, it, it crackles and you can see it. You can see a little crackling. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm going to, um, actually I'm gonna lay this aside as well. And uh, you can see, maybe maybe if I lift it up here, you can see better. It's kind of shiny and it looks like this is a little th too thick right in there. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna set it aside and let it do its thing, let it crackle. But in the meantime, I have made two other ones. Let me wipe that off. And so real quickly, I'm gonna show you how, this is such a messy project. Um, and another thing with this tile, when you have a matte tile, uh, it's it doesn't clean off as easily, I'm finding, but it's good for camera, so we'll just make do with that. I don't like you to have all that glare in your eyes, you know? So, here these are. Um, I, used, I used this on this one, and on this one, and now these are baked, I used this. Um, and that had some depth to it too, so that was good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll probably just lay um, this one aside for the moment. And I'm gonna bring in a piece of foil. Cause I don't wanna make a mess on the tile. I will be using some, it's called um, glass stain and it's a pearlescent. It's a translucent stain. This is how it comes. I'll take the lid off. I'm gonna shake this up too. I'm gonna to use this with some resin on this after I use my black, oops, my black paint. Um, I used brown paint before. I'm gonna try black paint this time. So let me just wipe this brush off since I'm done with it. Put that away. And I will get out my black paint. I'm gonna shake this up too. This is just a very cheap bottle of Craft Smart acrylic black paint. Um, it's a bigger bottle. It's what, eight fluid ounces. I've had it forever. It just lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. So what I'm gonna do is just, and my hands are gonna get yucky. I tried the glove thing and it just didn't wanna work for me. So let me see what I can use here for the paint. Um, I think I'll use this one. And it's kind of hard, so I'm gonna push on it. I think I used this one before. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. 
I'm just going to put it right here. And now I'm just going to paint this all over this. And um, the gal who taught this said you can set it aside, not for long, but for a few minutes. Or just, no, not a few minutes, a minute or so. A quick minute, she said, I think, or something like that. But I find it works best if you wipe it off almost immediately. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me just get this off over here. I'm just kind of put it there. And now I've got a rag, which I'm, well, you know what? I'm going to use a paper towel first. I got a couple paper towels right here. And I'll just lay this on here. And I'm going to pull this aside a little bit so I don't start messing that up. And I'm just going to start wiping. And maybe you'll be able to see. Look at what a pretty imprint that is. You should be able to see the crackling right away. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, I like that. I like the black. You think it looks good? I like the black? I like the black. I guess I didn't get enough on the side. Either that or I missed it when I, when I, um, Put the crackle paint on. You can clean up the back. I tend to mess it up, uh, but you can clean it up with alcohol and um, a rag, or you can even use a little bit of fingernail polish remover on a Q-tip or something like that. You can clean it up. So not to worry about that part of it. I wait. I wait till I'm all done, and then I will do that before I add the resin. So. Oh, that looks pretty. I'll, ha I'll lift it up and you can see better. Isn't that pretty? I think that turned out real well. Kind of that antiquing look. And you can tell, you see, um, on the other one that I just made, I, I put a little bit of the crackle paint on the petals and I did here too. Can you tell? I think that looked good. I like it. If you don't happen to like something, you can come in with a Q-tip and a little bit of alcohol and wipe wherever you don't like it. But so far, I'm liking it all. I like this a lot. You know what? I might wipe a little of this off later. Let me see if that takes any. Yeah, it takes some right there. Okay. But I do like that. That's cute. That is cute. So I'm going to set that one aside for the moment. You could you could leave this pendant just like this if you wanted to. It's just cute. Um, and you can, you know, put the hole in up here, up at the top, or you can put it here, or you could even put it like this and put it up here. But I, pr I prefer not to distort the, the flower. I, pr I would probably put it right about here, but that would be up to you. So, and then I, because I did the back as well, I can come back with the black paint if I want to and paint over this, which I might do. I might do. I have to clean this edge up a little bit first because it's kind of got some clay where it shouldn't be. So I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. I'll just set that one here so you can kind of look at it. Now I'm going to bring in the other one and I'm going to paint this too. Oh, I'm glad I tried the black. I, this is new to me, you guys. Just really new. The ones I did this afternoon were my very first ones. So it's kind of fun, but it's really a messy, messy, messy technique. <laughs> if any of you know of, of a better way to do it, you can sure tell me. Okay. Get that off. It's not quite so messy. All right, there's that. Bring it back a little bit. I'm gonna get my paint out of there. Okay. Lay it out over here. I just don't wanna be dipping my fingers or something in, in the rest of this. This comes off of here easily. 
All right, now I'm gonna take another paper towel or two and I'm just gonna put it on this one, take this off, and I'm gonna start wiping it. Oh, I like this. This is, this is a fun technique. You could do, you know, Christmas ornaments like this even. You know, give them that old fashioned antique look. That'd be cute. That would really be cute. Let me just lay it down a minute so you can see it. Okay. Oh, that's really cute. You can see how it might take a little while for the, and look how, look how different that looks than this. Can you see the difference? Sometimes some of the crackle paint comes up too, but you can see it, it um, the crackling is a little bit wider. So that's kind of fun to see, you know? I, I think it just takes practice and obviously I need some. <laughs> but I've been at it all day, like I said, so I'm kind of good with this right now. I think I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm gonna try putting a little bit of color. You should be able to see, I'm, uh, what I'm gonna do first is get a little resin And then put the resin down here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this. Hopefully it'll come out. Let me just squirt it into the garbage can first a little bit, just so it doesn't get stuck on me. Okay. I have to poke something in it in the top to open it up. Looks like it's just stuck a little bit. Okay. Well, you guys, this is the real time, so it just wants to be stuck. Ooh, there it comes. I cleaned up pretty nicely. All right. Um, Go back down a little bit. You know, I'm going to poke it over the. Yeah, there I had something in in the nozzle that was slowing me down here. Okay, so I'll put that there. Make sure I get this wiped off. This, do you see how messy this is? And it can get a lot worse. <laughs> it can get a lot worse. All right, let me just get that back. And then now maybe I can squirt some in. I'm hoping. I'm not gonna do much, just a little bit. Make sure that's wiped. And then I'm gonna take uh, a toothpick. And I'm gonna mix it up. All right, I just want a tint of it. I don't want a whole lot. And um, you can look below the video to see who the gal is that does this, and you can watch her do it. Um, I think that would be a better idea for you. But I wanted to try it, so I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so let's see. I'll get my resin brush, and let's just see what we can do. Well, you know what? That is too big. I'm gonna use just a tiny brush my resin and I'm just going to go like this and it, it will be ever so light as you can see and you could do this any way you wanted to I'm going to take this whole one and see what happens This is different than paint. Um, you know, it's a stained glass. 
it's what's it called again it's called the glass stain pearl essence this is purple um, and it's a translucent stain so I think I'll take the whole one you should be able to see some of that through this I just want it ever so light yeah I think I'm going to do the whole thing in it okay well you can decide whether you like this technique or not I do like it I I do like it and I would probably do some of my Christmas ornaments with it once I play a little bit more with it and get it down a little bit better. Um, you can use alcohol ink if you want to. I think maybe that's what she used, she might have. Um, but you can just see how light, I hope you can see how light and pretty this is. I'll pick it up in a minute here and I will show you. I have to tell you that I cleaned my pasta machine for the first time ever. Well, this is my second pasta machine, but um, my first one broke a long time ago. That was, this is an Atlas 180. Uh, and I'm going to give you also the name of the gal whose video I watched to clean my pasta machine. She's so good. Oh, she's amazing. She's, um, she has a channel, but she, she speaks in Spanish, and so, but there are subtitles, and she's really good. She's really good. You'd like her, I think. So I'll put that down below, too. If I could remember names right now, I'd tell you, but I can't remember them right now. All right. This is looking cute. I'm going to try to get some on the edges, too. Maybe down in there. Okay, now that's just ever so light. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I think it's pretty. I like it a lot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this a little bit darker for the second one. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that'll work well. I just don't want to squirt it all over me. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, putting a little bit more in there. Figured I need a little bit more. Okay, that over there, that over there. Now I have to stir it up. That, I've had that forever. <laughs> I have everything forever. <laughs> I just keep up all my stuff. I just about got rid of all my clay stuff one time. I just thought, oh, I'm done with clay. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't. Okay. You know, you go through phases, I think. This is a little bit darker, so let's see what this looks like on. Not a whole lot darker, I don't think. But, oh yeah, it is. Now that I look at it. Okay, once we put it under the UV light so it can set, we'll see what this looks like. But you know, even if you can't see the crackle, if you happen to not be able to see the crackle after you put this on, it's not that big a deal. You got crackle all around you here. Oh, I got it in there. I don't want it down in there. Let's see. I don't know how to get it out. I'm just going to leave it. It went down into this trough here of the flower. I'm going to leave it for a minute. One thing I have figured out with clean, I used to, oh my gosh, I used to try to be perfect with everything. You can't be. You just can't be. And, you know, I don't make money off of this anyway. It's just my hobby, so... And I like to share it with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. 
maybe it'll encourage you if you are a clayer to do it too or maybe you'll just enjoy watching it I don't know okay Dang, this is pretty. Yeah, it definitely is darker. Definitely is darker. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty. What do you guys think? Here they are. You can tell for sure that this one's lighter and that's a little darker. I like both of them. You can definitely see the crackle through that now. Oh, and this is coming through too. So I'm going to throw those into my, um, under my UV light right now. And just let them sit there a minute and see what happens. And I will bring them back out. And if I'm still talking to you, I'll show them to you. Uh, I mean, let me put them under here. Okay. And I still got my, <clears throat> excuse me, my other one that is sitting there uh, crackling. I'm going to see if I can show you that it is crackling. Get rid of this so you don't have to stare at that anymore. I'm still going to show you a few more things. So hang in there. Let's see if it's crackling. Don't mind my fingers now. Yeah, it is. You have to you have to kind of hold it at an angle to see it has barely started, but it is crackling. And um, I want to make sure it's completely dry before I put it in the oven to bake. And I de I've decided that's what I really like better than baking it first and then. Um, Let's see after that. And then um, putting it on. I think I like to do it prior to it. Okay, I'm gonna bring in a few things. Uh, da, 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 what was it? Where did I put it? Oh, here. This is very simple. I didn't put any design on it whatsoever. This is, of course, the Star David, Star Bethlehem. And um, I, I have to tell you that I have, I ordered some um, mother of pearl inlay. I think I told you that the other day. But uh, these are flakes. I'm not going to open up because it kind of flakes all over. And no, it's not. It is not. Um, it's real mother of pearl flaking. And this is real mother of pearl fine. It's a much finer uh, powdery flake. And so what I did was when I cut the star out with my cookie cutter, my copper cookie cutter. I also cut a backing out and made a backing for it. But before I put the top piece onto the backing, I cut this hole in the middle. So that, and then I baked it and then I put in the mother of pearl and then I, over the mother of pearl, I put my resin in. So that created that look. And it, it's very shiny, it's really pretty. I don't know if you can tell that right now, but yeah, I think you can. Isn't that pretty? I just, I think that's so, so pretty. Okay, so that's that one. What other one? Oh, this is, this is pretty gaudy. <laughs> I hesitate to show you. I was just playing around, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is a Christmas ornament. I have a copper cookie cutter for it. Um, <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, but I cut several strips of clay, weaved them onto here on their side, and then, uh, and then I baked it. And then I, when it got done, I sanded the top. Once I had it sanded and cleaned up so it was all a little bit even, then I put in some beads so it would sparkle on the tree. Can you see those sparkly beads? And once I did that, I put resin on it. But it's really a goofy one, I think. It's goofy. But that's the, that's the, the ornament itself. That's what the cookie cutter looks like, so... Just thought I'd share it with you. You know, sometimes we goof up, too. Let's see. What was the other thing I was going to show you? Was there anything else? I don't think so. Okay. I'm just going to put these back out. I really like these. I love the brown. Um, 
Although, you know, that black is really striking, I think, too. But um, I don't know. If you had to pick, which would you pick? This would be pretty in the fall. Um, but I really like the blue and the brown. So I'll put that there. And um, this is the... I have a UV resin light where you only have to put in it in for five minutes. But I generally put it in for 30 so what I'm going to do now is just take a pause here and let me see how they're doing. Okay, I'll just leave that there. Um, I should show you, well, I can't tonight, but I should show you my um, pasta maker. I took off the uh, fenders, you call, uh, of the pasta maker from the front and the back, and I left them off because this, this gal said, you know, she took everything off that she didn't need, so I did the same thing, uh, basically. And uh, it's, I, I could not believe how much clay there was underneath my scrapers, underneath the blades. So I, I was able to get the blades out, clean them off. Um, I was so happy. I'm still happy about it. It's a good deal. And my husband helped me with it, um, too. Now it's back right beside me, and I'm, I'm using it, and it's, it's working just great. But I know how to take it apart much more quickly the next time. And she said she cleans hers sometimes two or three times a day. And she has three. Uh, this gal has three pasta machines. I'm, I kind of wonder if she uses one for, for dark clay and one for light clay. But I don't know that for a fact. But if I had them, I would do that. Okay. I can't get this paint off until I scrub it off. But I'm going to bring these back out so you can take one more look. And then I'll put them back in. I just wanted it to set under the UV light for just a minute. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> really, oh, I like these. These are so pretty. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Um, let's see, maybe I can get you down closer. Let me get rid of this. Put that over there, put these here. And I don't know if I think I can hang it that way maybe. This reminds me of a Hawaiian lei or something. I don't know. So let me see if I can get you in a little bit closer. Put them down a little bit. Move that out of the way. And there you have it. Isn't that pretty? Now you could certainly go back and you could certainly uh, resin the rest of it. But it's kind of pretty to have just that part resined, isn't it? But you'd have to seal it, I think, maybe some, some way. I would want to seal it some way. I gotta go back and clean up the back. See? This one's worse. But I will I will clean those up too. And on the back I I did this and this. I just made some prints on the back. So which I did with this too. So I might go back and paint those. So that's all for today. I, I hope you enjoyed it and, and uh thanks for waiting. I know it's a little late in the evening. It's 9 15 here in Kansas. And I am done for the day. God bless you all. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.